It's 83 AD, just three years after the Colosseum's triumphant opening. But Rome's new emperor, Domitian, is launching what he promises will be the most astonishing games of all time. Giving successful games was a fundamental part of being a successful emperor. His predecessors had built the Colosseum. Um, he wanted to do them one better. He's got to prove himself to the people of Rome, to the empire, that he is worthy of the mantle. He plans a surprise, ordering a major renovation to the Colosseum, digging a vast labyrinth beneath the arena floor. It's called a hypogeum and through its sophisticated engineering, animals, humans, and scenery will suddenly appear before the spectators. It's going to add another layer of visual complexity to the Colosseum. So rather than people walking out of doors and walking slowly into the middle of the Colosseum, they're going to appear up through the floor as if by magic. To engineer this complex hypogeum beneath the arena, Domitian relies on a skilled master builder, Hatarius. The job of creating a subterranean aspect for the Colosseum, well, that was a task for an engineering genius. Heterius and his team would undoubtedly have been under a lot of pressure not to screw up, to make sure that on game day, everything came off according to plan. Especially the complex special effects machinery designed to dazzle the crowd. In order to lift huge cages from the hypogeum to the floor of the Colosseum. The special effects man underneath the Colosseum turned huge capstans in order to make sure that both the people, the animals, and the scenery arrived instantly uh, in the spot that they were needed for the show. But there's a problem. Hatarius's machinery isn't working. Now, he needs to find a solution. No good idea came from an exhausted mind. Get some sleep. If I don't think of something farther, I'll be sleeping forever soon enough. I can't help you. You left me behind years ago with your forces and multipliers. What is it? Police. The same force applied. Three more police. Pulleys in particular are vital for the proper functioning of the hypogeum. It's almost like an underground sailing ship. Ropes and pulleys are everywhere, lifting enormous loads constantly to the floor of the arena. So Romans don't have power tools, obviously, but they do have a series of physical devices that multiply the power that actually produce amazing results. All the pressure would have been on the builder, Hitarius, the whole question, though, is could he pull it off? You can imagine what kind of sense of anticipation there was. But equally, of course, for Domitian, it just raises the stakes. The crowd could get nasty if they weren't excited by it. But when you have gladiators coming up through the floor, when you have beasts coming up through the floor, changes of scenery coming up through the floor, that's the kind of thing that's going to excite the crowd and get them on board. Waiting under the floor of the Colosseum for the festivities to begin would have been kind of a hellish and surreal experience. You would have heard the cries of injured people. You would have heard the growls of wild beasts. You would see chained criminals who were awaiting execution. It must have been an intoxicating but pretty horrifying experience. People of Rome, welcome one and all to the greatest games ever witnessed. I'm strong. The men are ready. By order of the Emperor Domitian. Make sure when we pull, we pull together. And pray. A spectacle of going on? This can't be. Pull it! Come on! 
Come on. It was a crucible of tension. The Coliseum had played host to all sorts of really incredible spectacles over the years, but this was on a whole other level. The idea of wild beasts, beast masters, appearing up through the floor, nobody had ever seen anything like that. One of the amazing things that the poet Marshall describes was the incredible special effects in the Colosseum that were made possible because of the hypogeum. He says, a cliff crawled, a woods ran forward, a wonder to behold. Unexpected things can pop up from the stadium floor at any moment. And something that you couldn't see anywhere else in the empire. it would have been way beyond the experience of any normal person. This had to be the greatest day they've ever had in the Colosseum. 50,000 people were at these games. And the result of these games for Domitian was terrific. Domitian is someone who played to the crowd. He knew that he had to be popular. And they helped give him a reputation as a friend of the Roman people. Haterius succeeds and survives. We have some sense of what happened to Haterius after this because we have his tomb. The tomb of the Hateri. This is where he lays out his life story. It's where he tells us about his involvement in the construction of the Colosseum. This was a high point of his life. It was important enough that he felt that he should celebrate it even in death. With this vast arena finally complete, Haterius and the three Flavian emperors create one of the wonders of the ancient world, an enduring emblem of the emperor's power and Rome's might. The Colosseum is instantly recognizable, and the word itself has come to symbolize the Roman Empire at its greatest. <laughs> 